Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to configure request filtering for file extensions in IS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by Search in Sami. To complete this tutorial you should have installed the request filtering module on IS 8. Let me show you how you can do this. From the server manager click on manage add roles and features. From the add roles and features wizard click on next. Select the first option and then click next. Select the local server, click next and then expand the web server role. I have already installed it that's why it is showing me like this. From the web server, security, you will find request filtering which will be over here. Select that checkbox and click next and install the request filtering module for IS. Let's close this and let's start our tutorial. Request filtering restricts the type of HTTP request that IS 8 processes. By blocking the specific HTTP request, request filter helps prevent potentially harmful requests from reaching the web server. Now without wasting any more time, let us start our tutorial. Open Internet Explorer. We are going to open the website which is a demo website. This is demo.itzoz.com. You can also download the site from the description of this video. I have already given the link over there. Now here you can see there are two links. One is .xml and another one is to .doc. Presently users can download both of these files extensions from the server. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to block the request for .doc extensions on the server so that the user will only able to download .xml files and not able to download the .doc extension files. So let's close the Internet Explorer okay, and go to Server Manager. From the Server Manager click on Tools. From the Tools menu click on Internet Information Service. Okay, from the IS Manager, expand the server node, expand sites. Now, as you can see, there are multiple sites which we have configured in our earlier tutorials. Now, basically, when we apply request filtering at the server level, it will automatically applies to the entire web server. That means all the websites which are hosted in the IS will get that setting. You can also configure request filtering at the site level. But for our tutorial, we are going to configure it at the server level. So I have selected the server node and from the server node, click on request filtering. Here you can see different types of request filtering tabs. We are going to use file name extensions. Here you can see there are some of the file name extensions are already added. These are all showing false. That means these all extensions are denied access. Now let's click on deny access to deny a access for the extension type. Okay. And type dot doc so that the request will be denied access for this extension type. Click OK. Here you can see the extension which we have added in request filtering. Okay. So let's see this at the website level. This is the website that is demo.itzoz.com and if I open the request filtering at the site level which will be over here okay you can see the .doc extension is already added and it is in false state let us click back to the demo.itzoz.com okay let us restart the website so that the changes will reflect on the IS and also start the application pool for this website. Okay, it is over here. Recycle. Now let's close the IS and server manager. Now let us open Internet Explorer. We are also going to clear the history and the cache of the Internet Explorer. To do this, you can press Control Shift and Dell or you can go to this uh, round icon. From the security, click on Delete Browsing History. 
okay and click on delete after you have done this close the Internet Explorer and open it once again now let us type demo.itzoz.com now when I click on 1.xlsx I'm able to download it and uh, when I click on 2.doc I'm getting this error HTTP error 404.7 not found the request filtering module is configured to deny the file extension because I am accessing this site from the server on which the website is hosted I am getting this full error if I access this site from a different system I will get a different error let us bring up one more virtual machine so that I can show you what error we are getting when we access the site from different system ok so this is Windows 7 let's open Chrome browser and uh, we are going to type the same URL that is demo.idzoz.com okay hit enter and now when I click on .xlxx I'm able to download this file but when I click on .doc I'm getting the error this is 404 file or directory not found so let's close the Chrome browser this completes our this video tutorial hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video. Share it with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions, post your comment here or catch me on Google+, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami. For more information, you can also visit www.itzoz.com. You are watching this video on YouTube. For more videos, you can go to this URL that is www.youtube.com slash user slash